No time to lose, Jim. Go check out the communications relay and report back. Chop, chop. Mr. Payton, this is Dr. Kovac. Can you read me? Loud and clear, Doc. Kinda told you, you can call me Jim. As you like, Mr. Jim. I was hoping you could pay me a visit in my lab, as your circumstances and logistics allow. Oh, and I believe I'm to mention that remuneration is involved. So you have a job for me? I believe I made that abundantly clear. Oh, abundantly. I'll drop by soon, Doc. Hey, what's the rumpus, Jim? That ought to tone down your recoil quite a bit. Smart purchase, no question. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? Come back any time, eh? Jimmy, 
Quick message, and, um, not to worry you, but apparently I am slipping quietly out of my mind. Today, I spent the better part of 20 minutes looking for a hat that I was wearing. <laughs> this week, I found my keys in the door on the outside, of course, my slippers in the shower, and my toothbrush in the refrigerator. Because you know how important dental hygiene is to produce. Seriously, what is happening? Unless the little man is telekinetic and evil, moving objects around with his mind just in order to drive me crazy, then your wife has become mentally unbalanced. So, that's good news, right? <laughs> yeah. I got things totally under control. <laughs> I don't know. Kisses. Hey, baby. Quick message, and, um, not to worry you, but apparently... I am slipping quietly out of my mind. Today, I spent the... Shock. 